वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लैटफॉर्म एन इनिशिएटिव बाय सायंस पार्क सावित्रीबाई फुले पुणे युनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन्फेक्शियस डिसीजेस एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट देम एंड चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फाइव कम्युनिटी हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन टू डे सेशन इज पार्ट वन Today's subtopics are infectious diseases. What causes them? Spread of infectious diseases through air, through water, through food, through insects, and through direct contact. Infectious diseases. Oh, she just fell. What will you do if your friend falls like this? Will you run to help her or not? If you help her, will you also get some disease? So, write this down in your notebook. Classify the events as infectious and non-infectious. So, I am going to show you few pictures of events. A person having headache, what is it? Does it come under infectious or non-infectious? A girl sneezing. A girl coughing. A person having lower back pain. a kid who is having lot of fever and spreading ringworm chicken pox and scabies classify these diseases in infectious or non infectious what causes these diseases Yes right microorganisms which we also call germs these are present everywhere and when they infect they multiply so rapidly that the person gets disease very soon so how does one person's disease gets passed on to another person when a person has cold the germs from his body spread in the air and when he coughs or sneezes other person's body also catches the disease let us learn spread of infectious diseases this may happen through air the germs of disease like influenza are present in the spit or saliva of the person when he coughs or sneezes they enter in the air with tiny droplets of saliva or spit when other people breathe the same air the germs are going to enter their bodies too so diseases of chest and throat are spread through air for example tuberculosis swine flu can you give more such examples something related to current situation write it down in your notebook also how will you prevent spread of such infectious disease right that is why we are told to cover our nose and mouth when we cough or sneeze now observe this figure what is there in this diagram yes it is telling about spread of disease through water the germs of diseases of intestine like typhoid cholera diarrhea and also jaundice are present in the fecal matter of the affected person if these feces mix with water 
the germs enter water and if another person drinks that water he also gets infected that is why it is not advisable to wash your clothes or to bath in running water or near water banks typhoid fever cholera jaundice are spread through water now observe these images carefully what do you think what type of spread of infectious disease this is this is another picture also observe this how the food is kept which disease can spread through such now spread of disease by insect you must have heard of malaria a mosquito which has bitten an affected person having malaria if the same mosquito bites another healthy person the healthy person will also get malaria as the blood now spread of infectious disease by direct contact so ring worms scabies they directly affect the skin if the germs are found on the skin and if someone else comes in contact with the skin of this affected person he will also get the disease that is why it is always at subtopics for next session are prevention of infectious diseases vaccination public health service facilities community health importance of community health thank you